Boys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Hart McGrath. This is the best damn men's physique channel on YouTube, and I'm going to throw it back for you boys. Start this video off right. Before I get into these updates, you guys got to know the legendary history of Ryan Terry. Boys, this is the 2013 Arnold Classic Ohio. So we're talking literally almost 10 years ago, Ryan Terry was dominating the field. Look at this, look at this OG footage. This was posted on Ryan Terry's YouTube channel literally eight years ago, only has about 6,000 views. I recommend you guys go check this out. It's a young Ryan Terry at the 2013 Ohio uh, or Arnold Classic Ohio, and it's just crazy to see him back in the day, dude. Ryan Terry has been here for a hot minute, dude. He truly is an OG, boys. A lot of white men's physique pros got upset at me when I said Ryan Terry is the OG white men's physique pro. He's the best white men's physique pro ever. He's the most legendary, and it's because of shit like this, boys. The 2017 Arnold Classic, Ryan Terry dominated. No other white guy has stood against Brandon uh, Andre Ferguson, George Brown, and won the damn thing like this. Ryan Terry is literally a legend. You guys know I sat down and I interviewed Ryan Terry. Great dude. I met him in Boston in person, physically touched his hand, shook his hand. He's a great dude, man, a great individual. And this was a 2017 Arnold Classic. And this is that classic Ryan Terry physique. Look at George Brown. You got Andre Ferguson in the white and blue stripes. You have big waves, Brandon Hendrickson. Crazy to think he won the Mr. Olympia a year later in 2018, his first O win. But Terry's physique, boys. Terry's always had a crazy physique. And I brought up the 27. Look at this. Look at this. Long woo, natural on the far left. I don't know who the far right guy is. He claims natural. Don't take my word for it. That's what he claims. Look at this. Jeremy Poffin, Brandon Hendrickson, Andre Ferguson with those freaking abs, dude. This is crazy. I was, I, dude, I watched this. I don't know if it was live, but as soon as he posted this thing to YouTube, I remember watching this thing. This was like five years ago. Crazy seeing George Brown up there. Come on, George. George needs to prove me wrong. George was on my Instagram the other day talking that trend. <laughs> you guys got to go check out my latest post where I blew up my arm. <clears throat> go look what George Brown was saying. Love George, man. 2017 Arnold Classic Ohio, and who's on top? Who gets the result? Who's number one, boys? Look at this. Shit. Who knows about this? Not many people know how legendary Ryan Terry is, man. He's been second place at the Mr. Olympia before, third place. Like, this guy is crazy talented. And we did not see him last year at the Olympia, which is crazy. And then the couple times before that, or the time before that, yeah, even the time before that, he's not placing very well. This is crazy to see, but... Now time for the real, the real deal. Look at this, boys. Someone tell me who this is. Three weeks out of the Olympia, because I don't know who this is. This looks like an entirely different individual. Looks this, this, this whew, I'm talking quick today, boys. This looks like an individual that has never left or never got their foot off the gas pedal, has continued to push and the physique, the outcome that I'm watching now in 2022, three weeks out of the Olympia, is incredible. A brand new posing routine. If you guys notice that, Ryan Terry has totally switched up his posing routine. He says, I'm three weeks out, update of the Mr. Olympia. And boys, he looks insane. He might be in that top seven. If Ryan Terry can get back in that top seven, that's huge for Terry. Huge for Terry. He says chipping away one day at a time. And that's his uh, camera guy, his videographer, his content uh, guy. I met him as well. Really nice guy. It'd be huge for Terry to get in that top seven. He needs to get in that top seven, boys. I mean, if he does, if he keeps digressing in placings, I mean, what do you do? He didn't place very well the last time he competed at the Olympia, and even the before then. He took 2021 off, and here he is three weeks out. There's a lot to prove with Ryan Terry. There's a lot he needs to prove. I'm rooting for the guy. Obviously, I know him personally, a great individual, great ambassador of the sport. Imagine if Ryan Terry was the men's physique Mr. Olympia. He would be a crazy, amazing ambassador for the sport. The things he would do with the sport and the division, I can't imagine. And I love this comment. It says, yeah, bro, can't wait to see what you're bringing to the stage this year. And I think that's what we're all waiting for. Ryan Terry, thank you for these updates, bro. I get to talk about it and everyone gets to enjoy this stuff. Next up, who do we have? Oh, my God. God. Oh my lord. Someone has been working. Oh, man, I pulled this video up and I got it up for like two minutes because there's a lot of different ways I can talk about this video. And the majority of the people watching this video 
are going to be keyboard warriors and are just going to say two things probably. The only two things that stick out to them are the only two things that anyone is going to say. The only people that aren't going to just rag on them here are people that truly understand all the hard work and sacrifice it takes to be a 21-year-old looking like this. Yes. Is this acne bad? Yeah. It's part of the f***ing process, right? It's part of Some people, you take steroids, you take a lot of steroids, it's going to freak out up your skin like that's just part of the process i could say damn he's way too big for the division he's never going to be a men's physique uh top olympian he's going to outgrow the sport i could say all these things and rag on him or you know what i can come at it from a different angle and be like you know what this guy's a 21 year old kid out of egypt representing ancient egypt his whole country this is like the baby big rammy of men's physique and i'm hella proud of this kid I really am. This kid has obviously busted his ass. In my opinion, at the Olympia, he will probably get last place. The judges will probably dock him because of how big he is. He is huge. I'm not saying he isn't ginormous, bro. But, I, dude, if, if it's me, bro, I, like, I love the size. I love genetic freaks. I love huge ass physiques. I think they need to make a different division and stop telling these guys to get smaller. How the f*** are any of these guys going to continue to get smaller? That's just so unrealistic. They need to make a whole other division. I think Ahmed Shokri looks absolutely incredible and I'm hella proud of this kid. He's a huge supporter of the channel. I've been covering Ahmed for the last year or plus. One of the reels I did of Ahmed has over like a million or two million views. A lot of people like this guy. And I found his coach. That last video, if you go on my Instagram and you watch the reel I made of Ahmed Shokri that has like over a million views, at the end of the video, there's this big guy that comes up and hugs him and grabs him and celebrates on stage with the trophy. It's his coach, Muhammad Kamal Kimo, the godfather of uh, bodybuilding Egypt. And he works as the Egyptian coach for bodybuilders. And here he is with a photo of Big Rami. He owns a gym called the Weeder Gym. So I finally found Ahmed Shokri's coach. This is the guy who's been absolutely transforming Ahmed Shokri's physique into this God level status that everyone's going to shit on because of his acne and him being too big. But like, please, can we just come at this a different way? Please, for once, boys. Yes, he is ginormous. I like huge men's physique guys. I do. I think they need a different division. Again, I don't think they should continue docking guys for being too big. Just create a different division. These guys are too big, man. Just remember, in April of this year, the dude looked like this. What the fuck? What are they putting in these guys in Egypt? Yes, he's been busting his ass and eating his meals, but what are they, put, what are they injecting these boys with in ancient Egypt? Why does he keep saying ancient Egypt? Cause I love, I love ancient Egypt, dude. All that stuff and like Greek mythology. I love all that type of shit. But it's just crazy seeing this compared to this. It's like wow. The thing is, people need to understand. You can take all the gear in the world, and you don't train well. You train half ass. You eat half ass. You don't sleep well. You don't recover well. You don't do things the right way. You won't look like this. This guy's been busting his ass, and I'm hella proud of a 21 year old, the youngest. Olympian coming into this year's Mr. Olympia showing up like he's showing up and he's showing out and I'm proud of him IFB Ahmed Shakri. so something will happen after two weeks it's called a dance with dragons so let's dance I love it it's so like theatrical I don't know this video is from a week ago so what do you expect now dude I expect more striations probably a few more pimples and maybe a little bit bigger like every time I look at you Ahmed you're getting bigger bigger and bigger He's sponsored by the KO Squad in Egypt, which is the show he won, which is interesting. And then obviously I talked about his coach, Muhammad Kamal. What do you guys think of Ahmed Chokri? Besides the acne and him being too big, do you guys have him anywhere in the top 15? Do you think there's a chance that he won't place in the last place? I don't know. I really don't know. It's a nice core. He has a nice shape. It's almost like he's just too big now. He's just kind of huge. I don't know how it's going to play down. I'm excited to see, though. We got like two and a half weeks, boys. And then this guy, Jovin, let me say this right. You guys have been correcting me like all week long. I got one shot at this, but Jovin Segabain. How was that? That was my uh, Filipino uh, pronunciation for the day. He says maybe one day. And you guys know what he's holding? Whose trophy is that? I wonder what year that is. It's Jeremy Buendia's Mr. Olympia men's physique trophy. The champion. Maybe one day. 
<laughs> if he dropped it, that'd be f-ing hilarious. Um, I think he can get it one day. I think there can be another Filipino that uh, gets that Mr. Olympia trophy. I do. But I've been missing out on some updates of Joven. I really have. This one with Jeremy Buendia setting up the light. He knows what he's doing with that light. Joven Sagabon pretty much in his undies showing us why in a few years he will be a classic physique Olympian. <laughs> okay, but in all seriousness, he looks really good. Super good. I think he said this was a high carb day. And he looks amazing, dude. In looks like Jeremy Buendia's house in a dark room with the light. Jeremy's got this thing set up. I love the comments. Vegeta the Saiyan Prince says 100% Joven going to give them a pretty hard fight on stage. Oh, dude, this boy's ain't, this, he ain't playing around. Joven ain't playing around. Joven ain't playing for, or coming to this Olympia to get last place. He ain't even trying to get top 10. Like I'm telling you, the Filipino people, Jeremy Buendia, Joven, Segabayan himself is thinking top seven. I'd love to see him in that top seven, dude. Another Filipino athlete in that top seven. <sighs> When's the last time we had another top Filipino guy in the top five, six, seven place since Jeremy Buendia has been gone? Unless Popvin's Filipino. I think he was fourth in 2020. Brendan Edward, 92, says, if this is the standard for men's physique, I'm just going to keep bulking for the next six months. <laughs> dude, that's hilarious because these men's physique guys are ginormous. But I don't think they need to get smaller. Stop saying these dudes need to get smaller. They're not going to get any smaller. They're just not. They're going to continue to eat. They're going to continue to train. They're going to continue to work hard. They're going to continue to grow. Just like every other division in the whole damn league has gotten bigger, men's physique is going to do the same damn thing. I think the judges need a new division, and I cannot wait to cover that shit. Joven say goodbye with Jeremy Buendia. I love this shit. Look at this photo. Joven says, I'm so blessed to have you in my life, Kuya coach Jeremy Buendia. I will always be grateful to you for uh, your all-out support and kindness. I hope I can return the favor sometimes in the future. Love you, Kuya. Jeremy Buendia. I can do all things through Christ. This is just an epic photo. Can you guys imagine if Joven Segabon wins the Mr. Olympia? It would be crazy because this is Jeremy Buendia's prodigy winning the Olympia. Has this ever happened? Has a men's physique Mr. Olympia ever coached someone that won the Mr. Olympia that was also Filipino? There's a lot of weird things that could go on if Joven wins this, wins Olympia. It w- probably won't be this year or the next, but guys, it's coming. His time is coming. He just needs to keep working hard. He's in amazing hands with Jeremy Buendia. Um, I'm excited for this stuff. Another crazy update. <sighs> could you imagine being in this gym and walking by and seeing Joven say goodbye and Jeremy Buendia? Some people don't even know who these guys are. I was in the gym the other day. And I was talking to some kids and I was telling about like Ryan Terry and a few other guys. And they're like, who's that? I was like, like, who's that? You don't even know who these people are. These are the best physiques in the world. The physique you're trying to achieve. I digress. Joven looks absolutely insane, boys. A lot of you guys have Joven winning. He's not going to win. I'm going to just break your heart now. Joven say goodbye and will not win the Olympia. But that's, that shouldn't be the goal for Joven. The goal for Joven is should be to come in to the Olympia as a rookie, the very first time ever he's ever been there, just to come in at his best shape. That's all he can really do. If Joven comes in in his best shape, brings his best package, which I'm sure him and Buendia will bring, I think there's a legitimate chance Joven could end up in that top 10. And if Joven ends up in that top 10, that's an unbelievably impressive finish for Joven Sega Bond unbelievably impressive finish. If he gets top seven, six, my mind will be blown. I think this physique is good enough one day to win the Mr. Olympia in the men's physique division. It's just going to take a little bit more time. Taking away nothing from what he's done right now, I think he's going to do amazing at the Olympia. I cannot wait for this watch party. If you guys haven't heard, I will be doing the Olympia men's physique watch party on the channel. I can't show the actual screen, but you guys can watch it along with me. I'll be commentating it and just freaking out probably about the results because i'll be dead wrong about all my placings that's usually what happens ryan terry did you guys see him in 2013 winning the arnold classic ohio probably the first one right 2013 arnold classic ohio was probably the first one 2017 winning it again defeating brandon ferguson the guy's been there a long time put some respect on my guy's name amid shokri absolutely ginormous but a nice little tight core if you notice that that core was tight like that gut ain't exploding whatsoever that is not a bubble gut that's one of the tightest cores on that stage she's just 
ginormous everywhere else. And then the Kuya, the Pinoy pride of Philippines. Joven Segabayan, top seven? I don't know. We're going to have to see. Boys, I'm going to get out of here. I love you tons. Happy Thursday, December 1st, 2022. I can't wait to keep talking about men's physique. Keep tagging me in your favorite men's physique Olympias, Olympians posts. I'll probably do a video on them. Today I did Terry. I did Ahmed. And I did Joe but say Gabon. Tomorrow I'll do some new guys. I love you boys tons. Don't quit. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm out.